Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney, and in today's video, we are going to be making some DIY wood tear trays and pedestals. I'm so excited to show you how easy they are to make and how they can spruce up your home, so stay tuned. So a few weeks back, I posted a picture of a DIY wood two-tiered tray that I created with just some wood from the hardware store in Michaels and also our nail gun. And you guys commented, wanted to see if I could do a video on it. I will link everything down below for you in case you want to make these yourself. So let's get started. So all of these projects start with the same supplies, just different sizes. They're unfinished wood pieces from places like Michaels, Hobby Lobby, and your hardware store. So for the first one, I went through and stained all of my pieces with my favorite dark walnut by Minwax. You're going to want to let this dry overnight so that when you're working with it, you're not getting the residue all over your hands. Once that was dry for the first one, they looked like this. Then I went through and laid everything out to try to figure out how I was going to hook it together. Originally I had thought to do the small on top, but I thought actually no, I'm going to do the bigger surface on top. Just so then that way I could put a Ray Dawn mug or something larger if I wanted to at the top. Then I removed the little candlestick holder because I was worried that the nail gun wouldn't go through that. And then I assembled it with my Ryobi nail gun. Don't worry if you don't have this. You could also use screws or you could use a good old hammer and nails. I used a good amount of nails, probably three on each side, just to make sure that they were firmly hooked together. And I wasn't worried about those nail holes on the top because I was going to put items on top. So I like the height of this first one, the color matches my decor, and it really allows me to get variation in heights in my decor so I can put it wherever I feel like it. So then this is the one that I had originally shared, and this one is two larger rounds and a kind of shorter stubby pedestal. Same process, but we used a drill and some screws instead to make it a little more sturdy. And then finally, I went completely in a different direction with this candlestick. And I love how it kind of blends in, but also gives vignettes a little bit of character. So this one started with a 12 inch candlestick and also a wood plaque. This circle was in the same section as that four by four square that I used for the first one in Michaels. I will link everything down below. Then I went through with my smaller brush because there are so many details on both pieces, the grooves and everything. I used a smaller brush as opposed to a larger foam brush and it really helped me get into all the nooks and crannies. Once that was dry, I removed the inner piece of the candlestick like I did with the smaller one, lined it up, and then I went through and used the nail gun. For this one, I flipped it over so the wider part of the circle was on top, so that little lip for the plaque, I put that down. I thought it gave it a little bit more character there. And then I just went through and dry brushed it with some white Waverly chalk paint. I was doing another project this day, so I had just finished painting that, so I didn't re-dip it in the paint. I just kind of went through and I used the same methodology that I would if I was distressing something with sandpaper, get the edges, big broad strokes, I don't have a ton of gray in my house, but it goes with my neutral decor. So I really thought this was nice. It gave it a little bit of character. It was a piece that could stand out, but it wasn't so gaudy that it was like, whoa, that doesn't fit with everything. This item I will use probably for pillar candles. Like this, you could use signs. You could put a lot of different things on it. It's pretty sturdy with a nail gun. And so it really can hold whatever you're thinking within reason. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you plan to recreate any of these projects. Also hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard tonight.